Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Bismarck Reich, playing as the Kingdom of Prussia. We casually have minus 317 political power, no worries, no manpower, and no XP, except for a little bit of army XP. So, a few comments. Why is war why is Europe so bad in this, you know, mod? Like what happened? Well, Bismarck died in 1870, he was assassinated, which made Prussia go to war with Europe, or Prussia go to war with the British, the French, and the Russians, and it was allied with Austria, I think, and Ottomans or something like that, and, they, and the Prussia lost, and then the UK went to war, eventually went with France, and then the French lost, and that's why there was Normandy here the last time. So, Germany is basically shattered, as well as Italy, as well as the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and as, as well as Russia, just a little bit too, but uh, right now. Uh, I think it was over the comments, but I can't really remember at the time of this recording, but whatever. We're trying to arrest the Heinrich Himmler. We lose some stability. We got a lot of war support. We're slowly getting a little bit more manpower back, and we got Construction 2 done and finished. Very nice. It is 1937, May 4th, which is good. Let's see, do we have anything here? We have only three research slots, which is really not bueno. And the only thing that's outdated are my ships, so... And it's taken a while to get rid, rid of that, uh... Pretty much, yeah. Um, we only have one dockyard, which really, really sucks. Actually, huh? Austria has a claim on Transylvania. I guess it makes sense since there are Hungarians there, probably. Ah, a couple more uh, divisions. Oh, Wilhelm, everything for us. Eh, not too much, not too much. Oh, another comment. I remember now. Oh, government, Canadian Francois, Dominion of Canada. The comment was: Does Canada have a focus tree? No, they have a generic focus for the Dominion of Canada. But these guys, under Dudley Pound, also has no unique focus tree. They're monarchists as well. Oof, that is... That is certainly Canada. A Canada. And it's still split between... The UK and France. But we just arrested Heinrich Himmler. And what are we doing? We can't do any of the military stuff. We can't be aggressive. What does this say? Prussia goes to the elections. Well, that's cool. Now, we could ban the fascism, lose stability, get some more political power, ideological administration, which, oh, that would be very good, end of the purges, or we could take some debts. Arbeit, Arbeit, Arbeit. Recovering from the effects of the Berlin stock market crash. How bad is it? Prussian terror isn't very good to have. But we've nullified it. This looks pretty bad. Let's get rid of the effects of the Berlin stock market crash first, so take some debts. Very cool. Nothing here still. And we're just kind of hanging out. Enjoying our time together and having dispersed industry. Now, I'd love to see an American Dominion of America war. Hopefully that'll happen because this is really weird seeing Florida like this and... Uh, I don't know. It just, it just seems a little cursed seeing America this broken. Hungary joins Austria. Bavarian communist coup. German reunification race will begin soon. Well, that is extremely disgusting. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Uh, I trust... Uh, Austrians much more than these commies down here. Oh, that's a really cool flag. That's really awesome. It's, a, it's just a Bavarian flag with the red instead of the blue and hammer and sickle. That's cool. Not trained for defense. Overpowered government. Huh. Cool. A little bit of manpower. More than us. We don't know how many divisions they have. But Austria, you're looking extremely disgusting now since you have Slovenia, Istria, the Czech places, Sudetenland, and Hungary. Advisors are overthrown the Reichstag. Advisors have overthrown the, overthrown the Reichstag. Ministers announce that they will not side with the Reichstag anymore. Hmm. Mm, I didn't want political power anyways. Oh, that's an, ooh, that's an occupied state. That's really not good for Austria. Carl, that's really not good if you can't core that territory. We're going to need a lot more guns. Uh... I don't want to do it like this, but we're going to have to. We're going to need more guns. We're going to need more of everything. I mean, I could probably go to war, but it probably wouldn't be very good for us. Take some debts. That's good. Maybe we can build some more civilian factories. That'd be really nice. So we've taken some debts for two-thirds of a year. And now we shall do Arbeit, Arbeit, Arbeit. It takes only 35 days, which is pretty good. good. I mean, it also gives us some uh, infrastructure speed, too. Nice. Ah, oh, good. Arbeit, Arbeit, Arbeit. 
The uh, infrastructure doesn't look so great. A lot of 60%. Ukrainian Socialist Republic declared war on the Polish Empire. Oh. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. It attacked from this entire front. Hmm. I kind of hope to say... Well, I, I, I am going to say. But I sort of hope that the Polish lose so that... Because, um, because it might just give me justification to go to war with these guys. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. If they don't... If the Polish win, cool, that's great. But in the end, this will probably all be ours. I have no idea. And also, seeing this, Slovakia, it looks like it just... It looks really disturbing to see, like, something big and bulgy is coming into Austria and just like, ugh, that's kind of disgusting. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Now, do another general. Oh, I can't afford a general. Hmm. Supplies okay though. Improved airplane stuff. Very good, very good. Um, what else should we do here, my friends? Plane stuff. We're pretty good on plane stuff. Air doctrine we can wait a little bit on. That we can wait a little bit longer on. I guess we'll get some oil processing. That might be nice. We could use more fuel in the future. Actually, can I just go to war with you guys? No, I cannot. We need political power first of all. And we need way more world tension. The world is at 0% tension, even though my eastern country, or the countries east of me, are killing each other. Arbeit, arbeit, arbeit. And then recovered Berlin stocks. Cool. So we get 10% more stability, 3% more war support, which is nice. 10% more construction speed, 3% construction efficiency cap and growth, and 20% more factory output, which is going to be really good for guns. Really, really good for guns and support equipment. Ooh, the poles don't look like they're doing that well. That's not good. Yeah. Maklakov. Maklakov. Greece. Uh, do you have claims on Eastern Thrace now? Huh. Ah, uh, do you have claims on Istanbul, which makes sense. September 1st. And people said yesterday, in yesterday's video, it's pretty cursed that this game starts in 1935, which, eh, I don't know, I kind of like it. I've always wanted an earlier start date, so. And let's see, Heinz Guderian. Didn't we try to... Did we do something to him? Yeah. We try to make him a monarchist, so he stays with us. Which is good. Which is very good. And we get about how many people a month? A, less, a little less than 700 people a month. Which isn't bad, but... Eh, it is what it is. Very low taxes. Uh, I like the very low taxes. I might consider going to... Very high taxes. Ooh. The military junta of the Qing declared war on provisional Manchurian government. It'd be a problem if they got attacked on two sides, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Economic meeting... And we have recovered, my friends. We have recovered. So let's go ahead and ban the fascism. Awesome. We don't believe in fascism here. It's a garbage ideology. But we are, we are monarchist gang in the kingdom of Prussia. Oh yeah, they already have no support from under Hermann Göring, so that's okay. And of course, Spain's in their civil war. The America declared war on the state of Utah. Well, it looks like they exploded. Utah declares neutrality. What? Um, America falls into civil war. Well, we have the American Empire, led by the Council of Patriots. Yet they're monarchist. Um, okay. Versus the state of Utah under Norman Thomas, the Democratic, which makes a little bit more sense, I suppose. So it's Mormon gang versus the American monarchist American Empire versus MacArthur's non-aligned group. Eisenhower, what are you doing? Loyal British Party. You're democratic. You're not even monarchist. This is... This is a mod. This is a cool mod. State of Utah. I mean, is that... I guess, I suppose that's the state of Utah seal. There's not that many people that actually live in Utah in real life. Huh. I want to kill me some Bavarian commies. Oh, hello. Ernest. No last name? Uh, just... He's not Tailman? I, was it, I think it was a Tailman or something like that. That was actually communist in real life. They're pretty monarchist still, though, but... Uh, Bavarian Anti-Communist Party. KPD. Oh, there goes Democratic Spain. Good job. Communist Spain has also capitulated. Now they have Anarchist Catalonian Spain. It's cool. As well as the, Dem the Democratic Spain. There goes Utah. I, yeah, I didn't think the Utah people would probably last too long there. Not gonna lie, but, you know, it is what it is. Felix, upgrades. Nope. Cool. Nice. At least we get a little more political power, which is kind of nice. 
Kind of necessary, too. But the Poles are holding out. Very strong. Strong Polish defense. And, okay, that's King of Piedmont. Sardinia. And there he goes. Spain. Nice. Again. Sicilian North Africa. Alright, so China is having Chinese times. Japan is doing J Japanese things. The Dutchies Indies still look pretty good. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of power. India? What happened to India? What? We have the Raj, but hold on, we got banned fascism. Next up, we shall do... Ideological administration. Stability and tons of political power, which is great. And the People's Independent... Re Communist Gandhi. Highly divided society. With Muslim and Buddhist groups. With misspelled Buddhist groups. That's okay, whatever. Uh, emergency calling in the, in the India. And then Indian Revolutionary Movement. Alright, well, that's cool, you know. I mean, whatever. Uh, I have no plans going down there. And we also have the Japanese India. That's kind of a cool flag, actually. Okay, and then we have Kingdom of South India. Okay, got some oil processing. Very nice. Uh, well, do we need to do a little bit of extraction? Even if we did, it would, wouldn't would do very much for us, so... I'm going to go ahead and grab fuel refining, because we're going to need as much fuel in the future. So, we might as well start planning on that. Is this still owned by Port Portugal? The yes, yes. Kingdom of Arabia. Abyssinia owns all, all of this. Wow, what, what the heck happened down here? So, we have the Commonwealth. South Africa, Commonwealth, Benelux, Kingdom of Egypt, French State. Okay, I guess it makes more sense. Uh, you're not fighting any Italian boys right now, so that's okay. French state. Bataan, you have a generic focus tree. Hmm. Liberia still exists. That's fine. It does... Eh, everything else looks pretty normal down here. What do we need? We're asking, what do you need for reuniting Germany? Discipline, political power, plus 50% organization. Jesus. And some more support. Nationalism, more political power. 2% of people population. Daily fascism support and unaligned. Intelligence. Good flippin' lord. 50. It's gotta be. That's gotta be a zero added in by accident. I'm. I have to do 50%. I mean, I'd be a fool for not doing 50%, man. That's. That's a lot of organization. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think he missed a zero or the decimal point or something. The creator of this mod, but hey, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. The third Berliner conference. Assets one, two. Three. Amazing. That's all I gotta say is... Oh, we get 25% more stability? Awesome. Ah, uh, I love it, my friends. I love it. German discipline. Yes. We'll crack every every enemy division that there are. That there is. Any more guns. And support equipment. That's okay. Ah. No more negative numbers. Anything, anything else? Yet? So, we shall do end of the purges. So we get 10% more stability. We lose 25 per, uh, political power, but that's okay. That's definitely okay with me. Definitely, definitely okay. Close economy. Watch for mobilization. War economy. I think it's going to be better. So we're going to end the purges, but then what? End of the Frankfurt Treaty. End of the national purges. Good. Current ruling party is non-aligned. Hopefully become monarchist. We need a peaceful policy or an aggressive policy. Well, they both raise world tension by 2.5% or 2.5%. French state joins France. French Emperor Napoleon opens liberty to the fascists and France, so the French state joins France. Okay, okay then. Expand our alliance, ally with Turkey and Austria. Expand our glorious empire. Mobilization speed, French... Anglo-French colonial hegemony, which... I don't think we're ready for that. Oh, Middle Europa. Assassination attempt on Gandhi. We hope he lives. Then we'll turn him into a bland monarchy. Wow. Industrialized Austria with the Swedish colors. Okay. Two options. Operation Gorky. Porsche Assist. A developer of the Porsche announces they will join our side to produce tanks. What a nice of them. Porsche tankists will be on our side. Oh. Okay, well, that's cool. Ally the Switzerland. Swiss bunker strategy. Allied the Yugoslavia with the Poland. I'm going to go aggressive. Let's be real here. Fall of London. Treaty of Potsdam. That's cool. 
It was the Navy, Air Force, Army, Hindenburg. Well, I do a focus and I lose political power. Um, okay, so that's not good. Check, check Independence War. Make Wilhelm the Third a general. Make him a field marshal. Oh boy, that's getting weird. We're gonna have to need some elections soon too. Um, Austria, I hope you're doing okay. I really hope you are. Taking deaths. Oh, we lost that little. Oh my God, two percent. Oh, that does not look good. Returning, returning the debts. Okay, so we took the debts. We got, we did really well with twenty percent. Now we have to give them back by thirty percent. Holy smoke, Arenos! It looks like Austria's doing okay for the most part. Oh, Portugal, are you okay? Democratic. Why are you fighting Democratic Spain? Oh, well. Is this? Oh god, this is literally the PRC Chinese Republic Civil War all over again, except they're the Queen Empire, Queen Qing. Kingdom of... Oh, my God. <laughs> End of the purges, at least. And I guess it's time for us to go to the elections. Oh, we can do Navy now, Army, Air Force. That's cool. Wait. Prussian Air gives us political power, as well as Army. But the Navy gives us dockyards. That makes sense. So, Prussia goes to the elections. We, world tension goes down a little bit. We get more... Stu that's a lot more stability. All right, well, we'll see what happens, my friends. We'll see what happens. I wonder if I can send him some volunteers. No, we can't. Um, I, my country is just not allowed to. Okay. Before they die. Okay, does Kevin Spacey have anything here? No. Alright. Just wanted to see if... He did. And there goes the Republic. Prince Paul. Generic focus tree. Alright, well, whatever. Independence of Yugoslavia. is guaranteed by Romania. Ukrainian Socialist Republic. Well, they're still fighting over here. I can't send them volunteers. I wish I could. But I really wish I could get rid of these commies. Britain denounces Treaty of Frankfurt. Now, Britain, Russia, France, Austria, Prussia, Piedmont can't affect from this treaty. <laughs> the effects of this treaty has been deleted. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So we have this. Now the ruling party is not non-aligned. So now we've got to do general elections and then go with fascism or go with monarchism. And there goes the American Empire. The United States of America has won. Go with monarchism, monarchism, hail Kaiser dear, monarchism. Our people wants to stay with same rule. New constitution. Or fascism goes down this path. Some fascist propagandas, nationalist hearts, and fascism wins. Ah, fascism. Good luck, Polish Empire. Keep keep going. Keep giving, doing a good fight. FDR wins. Democracy is rising in the America. Okay, well. You couldn't do it here, huh? I guess I don't believe in elections, even though they're democratic. Hmm. American freedom. Democracy on the rise. Nerfed country. Nicholas the second loses his throne. Now the... Russian Council leads the people. Oh. Dagestani terrorism. The War Department. Okay, so we go through the elections, and we have general elections here. That just says nothing, but that's okay. It's still modern progress, so no worries. We get some of our factories back. We get 75 political power once we get through this. And Russia is led by Council. Hmm. Commander? <clears throat> Skip it, throw. Interesting. Interesting. I wish it was a little bit more interaction with, like, trying to reunite Germany in the early game. Just because it's... There's not a lot going on, to be honest with you. There's really not a lot going on. We need just a l maybe a little bit more action going on here. That'd be really good or nice to have. So... Because I'm just trying to blow through these as fast as possible at this point. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything there. Close economy. I can't obviously do anything here either. General elections. That's disgusting, Portugal. Let's get your little willy out of there. That's a little yucky. Mexico. God, I wish I knew what they were doing. 
What should government? Hey, let me know in the comments below. What should my agency name be? I don't want to create one yet since we don't have enough factories, but when we get there, what should it be? Let me know in the comments below. German, Prussian, intelligence agency, maybe. Hmm. I don't think you. Could, I don't think a Gestapo would would be really fitting for this. I mean, it's only the Kingdom of Prussia. Prussian Secret Service. That sounds pretty nice. And we're doing really well in supplies now. Very, very well. I just wish I had manpower to use them. I really do. Ah, general elections. And we'll go with monarchism. Another 56 days and 50, and then we'll get more support for monarchism. Can't support you guys. Hmm. A connected citizen seems pretty good. I can't even get him, though. Economist. Anti-fascism gain. More stability. Well, can't select any of them. Whatever. Elastic defense. Do I even have tanks? I don't even have tanks. Okay, we're going to mobile warfare. 1938 crisis in the Poland. Some of the royalists on the Poland revolt against the non-aligned party. Poland is in an ideological crisis. That's one of the worst times to be in the crisis right now. Oh. Hmm. And we are finishing up some of these uh, ships, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, you come here. Oh, the provisional government of the Don Combined Alliance declared war on the Russian Empire. Uh, well, good luck, son. Good luck. <laughs> King of Piedmont declared war on the Papal States. Okay, that's different. That's a little different. They have some rebellions, or you know, revolts coming up here. Of that team. Okay. Well, this gives us more stability and army XP. I don't really need either one. We tried that ye this yesterday. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to see what happens here. I might just save up my political power, which is going to take forever to do, and to see what the Third Berliner Conference does. Not really sure. Because I can't really... I mean, I could do stuff like this, but... There goes the Papal State. There goes the Pope. Uh, this seems like a lot here. Holy cow. Produce things faster. Produce better things. And they were immediately destroyed. Siemens? Siemens? Siemens. Hmm. Army drill, training time. More attack. I'm definitely going to go for more attack. Definitely go for, uh, sure enough. Go with monarchism. Great. Hail Kaiser Dare. Even more monarchism. Can we just become monarchist now? I mean, we're already 54% monarchist. Yeah, I definitely want to see what this does, so we're going to save up our political power. Rhineland? What is the Rhineland doing? Huh. Monarchists, you guys are... Pretty darn communist, wow. Wow, Franz. Yeah, def I'd say that's definitely divided Germany right there. Republic of Turkey. Hmm. Kingdom of Morocco. The Poles are holding on. Good job, Poles. They're led by a fallen government. <laughs> so much enemies. Polish militar militarization. Attack, build it, army. A little bit more attack. Just even... Oh, that's not good. Second class Regency Council. Well, if it's a second class, that's not as good as first class, but you get buffs to it. Okay, well, whatever. The four... How many internationals do we have so far? Wait. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I wasn't looking, but I don't remember there being a first international. Or second or third. Herm. Liberty. Volunteer Corps. Foreign Expeditions. I must have just made some more divisions. The UK. Okay. Okay, come on. Seriously, man? Iraq? <laughs> Iraq's like, nah. We ain't having this. We're going to straight up just take that for, from you. No, Wilhelm II falls into illness. <clears throat> he retreats from his throne, Prussia falls, and becomes a provisional government. Prussia is ruled by provisional leader Wilhelm III. Oh, he's recovered! Wilhelm III is resumed to be a secondary leader of the Prussian throne. Wow, look at that division recovery rate. Jesus. I'm still led by the council, though. Can, can I get... Can I have Wilhelm, please? Uh, Kingdom of Two Sicilies is looking okay. Are they led by anyone special? Pius? Okay, well, let's go get 
make king's propagandas. Now we're really becoming a real monarchist. Oh, oh. Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Oh, who else claims on this? Is that Croatia? Yep, it has Dalmatia as core. That's cool. How's the Trotskinator doing? I really wish I could see how much strength they have. I really wish I could. Get a new constitution. And once we do a new constitution, aggressive policy might get unlocked. No, we gotta reunite Germany first. So once we get become fully monarchist, we can do the end of the Frankfurt Treaty. And we just get bucket loads of political power. We get remilitarization. And then army for the war. We can side with Hitler. <laughs> German government collaborates collaborates with Adolf Hitler's idea for a brighter future. Well, he did have some ideas. What's next? Hmm. Industrial reforms. Um. Jude. Like, hey Jude. Like the Beatles song. Hey Jude, you got some problems. Open. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this. <laughs> Mm, I mean, I could probably sing Hey Jude, it's not that bad, but oh my goodness, side with the Kaiser, yeah, we'll definitely do this one. State visits, visit Piedmont, visit Russia, visit Austria, Turkey, and Treaty of Königsberg. Europa Mark, oh, that looks pretty good. Civil plan, Prussian military works, slow the taxes, and donations of the poor. Wait, of the poor? Wait, are the poor giving us donations? I mean... I'm okay with that. If the poor people want to donate to the kingdom, I'm... Yeah. Thumbs up, man. I don't know. Mufasta Kemal Atajuk passes. Oh, that's unfortunate. How unfortunate. Oh, uh, they already separated Cyprus. Really, man? Cool. Let's go ahead and do... Our people wants to stay with the same rule. Great. Poland surrenders from Slovakia. So Austrians take over Slovakia. How does that help you right now? That doesn't help you whatsoever. Uh, but then again, I guess... Ooh, it makes sense to a degree just because they probably wouldn't be able to stop the attacks from Austria if they went into the war. And Poland, it must suck being a Pole in the tw early 20th century. Or even the, the entirety of the 19th century. That must have really sucked. I mean, oh. Now it looks a little bit like, well, at least Poland looks like the Kaiserreich Poland now. That is unfortunate. Wow. Well... Zukov, Khrushchev, and Trotsky, I never thought they'd be in an alliance together, but, you know, whatever. They whoop the Poles. Kingdom of Latium. Well, I guess it's for the first Polish war of... Well, this I guess in this alt history, the first Polish war probably never happened, but maybe it did. And there goes Latium. And Kingdom of Piedmont is doing well. Oh, they have a little thing on their flag, too. We don't really like them, but that's okay. Divided Italy, that's okay. Revolutionary Baden... Baden... Movement to declare war on the Kingdom of the Rhineland. Good! Oh, never mind. That's so small. Why are you the Austrian flag? Oh, you're commies. Oh, are you going to join these guys? Hey, Rhineland, if you want me to come in, you got to ask. Expanding army? Nope. Hanover, are you going to explode as well? I'd like to see you explode. Like, have Besser M to explode out of here. That'd be fun. More ships. Karel takes throne in Russia. He's better than Nicholas II. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't tell you. Maybe? And actually, Ukraine owns a little bit of Carpathian Ruthenia. So it seems like Austria will probably go to war eventually with the Ukrainian Social Republic and all these guys up here, so that would be kind of cool. And Russia. Oh, people want to see the same rule. A new constitution. Oh, we can do that too. So, uh, we could probably wait on that. Let's do this as fast as possible. Let's end the Frankfurt Treaty. Ah, Karel. Cup Karel's having a good day. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and they have Republic, people's Republic of Transcaucasia still there, just kind of hanging out. Baden is falling apart. Good, like they should. Stuttgart is gone. <sighs> King, why do, wait, why do they own Alsace? Oh. Why do they own Saarbrücken? Austria, Hungary is proclaimed. And the UK... Even though they were losing the war against Iraq, or Iraq, they're fighting Arabia. Karl becomes the king of 
Austria-Hungary. Treaty of Frankfurt was forgotten by all of the countries. Forgotten? <laughs> that's funny. Alright, that's cool. Nice. We've been building ourselves up very nicely. I think it's time to build up some more uh, military factories, though. I'm going to put it here, just so that's kind of away from enemy borders and stuff like that. So, uh, Do we need anything else? We need more manpower, of course, but... Hmm. Actually, what is... the? This is the only tile that's causing us problems. It's going up slightly every day, so... Support weapons, very cool. It's 1939, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. Great, great year. And we are close to doing the third Berliner conference. Super close. Let's see what happens. So, assets won. Everyone has gotten some lands in Africa for resources, but we haven't got anything. It is time to force them to take some lands. Oh, well, hold on. Brighter way, we are victorious. With our pleasures, they finally accept to give some lands to us. We are victorious in political ways. Let's eat this land. Twice. Kingdom of... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. Now that's nice. Third French Empire. Cool. The by Napoleon, that jerk. Wait, we actually got some, oh, we got the political power back, too? Oh, yeah. Look at... Oh. Why did we get mad again? Why are you going to war with Egypt? What did they do to you? Why does the French own the Suez? I mean... Oh. Ooh. Nice. I like that manpower. Can we use that manpower, please? I could probably turn these into puppets and release them and get their manpower, but eh. That's... Hmm. Ah, oh, Kaiser, you're back. Thank God. I was worried there. Daily support for unaligned. It's not bad. But then again, we're monarchist gang here, so... Peter White? Or should it be Peter Weiss? Liberal journalist? Probably not... Mm, yeah, so these are all kind of not usable. You know, whatever. Here, we're going to go with Dispersed. Third Berlin Conference. Asset 2 sounds like fun. Uh, end of the Frankfurt Treaty. Good. Remilitarization. We kind of want to do that so we can go side with the Kaiser, maybe. And then we'll get a new constitution. Oh, wow. Wow. You know, if that's the case, we'll just do this next one then. That'd be great. Oh, wow, 40 army XP. What does our Prussian defenders look like? They're not bad. They're really not bad at all. I could really use some more artillery because manpower is precious. Hmm. But I really want tanks with our land doctrine, but we're not even using tanks. Hmm. Yep, there you go. We'll make one tank for now. With no manpower. Hmm. If I switch this out now, we could save on manpower just a little bit. And get quite a bit more soft attack. That gave us a little bit more manpower. We're now out of artillery. But that's actually kind of okay with me. Now that we can maybe push manpower to where else we need it. So especially for garrisons. We might be able to use a little bit of manpower down here, which would be nice. So, elastic defense. I mean, I'm glad we got Tanganyika. Great. I don't know why we really got Kenya or Uganda. I I have no idea why we got uh, Madagascar, but that's okay. British Africa. Well, America, what are you up to? Unknown stuff. Unknown stuff. Right now. Hmm. And you know what? Stamp around two. Everyone's got some lands in Africa for resources. Boo! We haven't got anything. It's time to force them to give us lands. This won't be the second part. Well, you're victorious. Let's eat this land. More, just insane amount of stability. Do we get anything from that one? Do we get colonies? Aw, oh, yeah. We got Lay. And we got Solomon Islands. Aw, oh, that's awesome. So we got Solomon Islands. We got a little bit more of our colonies back. Man, imagine if this was our core stuff, but just an occupied state, which actually kind of hurts us a little bit. Let's grab some elastic defense, and Blitzkrieg. I'm definitely going to go with mobile infantry. Yeah. Definitely need to buffer those guys. Ooh, nothing else there. Do we need more manpower? Oh, crud. Remilitarization. We could do new constitution. Side with the Kaiser. Army for the war. We get manpower. Aggressive plans, Bismarck plans, Persian youth, Bismarck youth, expand our empire in the world, peaceful policy. 
That doesn't sound like fun. Take ba back hit. Oh my goodness. Take back hidden weapons. Time to reunite Germany. Reich's Pact. Sell old weapons instead. It's time to reunite Germany. Reich's Pact. So what do we get here? Surrender of War. Prepare for the Odessa operation. Odessa operation. Kingdom of Schleswig-Holstein. We get generals. I like that. Attack the commies. Down here, stress stresses in the south. Demand a referendum in Hanover. Help the Danish. Peter of Copenhagen. Loser of the referendum. Which way should we go, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Should we go aggressive pol plans or Bismarck plans? Um, I'm really open to either one, so let me know in the comments below, but that's where we're going to end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's been really weird, but I've enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you liked it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as we hopefully can start trying to reunite Germany. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.